Hello everyone, we're back with the house in Fata Morgana. Hold on, let me adjust that. I have figured out the everything of this game. After you spent the last 20 minutes thinking, by that I mean like, not thinking. <laughs> I have figured out everything. So, we've had these uh, totally crazy bugs going on with the scroll ups. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is 100% intentional. And I have figured out what's going on in universe. Hear me out. So we've seen that, uh, like that screen multiple times where it's like, you know, you know, when you didn't pay for a channel, you know, it's like the, the bars, I forget what, what, when exactly that channel showed up, but it's something like that. Or like if your satellite's not in, wait, wait no, that's, that's static, isn't it? Something like that. So basically, the doors, it's actually just the maid and us watching a VCR tape of what's going on. <laughs> and in this one, uh, us, you know, you, me, whatever I want to call her, she's like, I, I'm assuming this is her, right? She's like, hey, can I, can we rewind a little? And they rewind a little, but the sound's all buggy, and there's... They talked over it. <laughs> they talked over the observation scene because they had to rewatch it. Okay, I forgot. Wait, here's girl, girl's going to die. Blank. Well, Alder, it hurt. Found something here. It is her. On his way back from the washroom several days later, Michelle heard muffled voices. It got it? It'll... I'm good. It's having trouble making out what they're saying, but I can tell several men they're outside the front door. Oh yeah, this is all a lie. I forgot about that. The fact that he could hear them all, at all through the heavy door meant they were probably shouting quite loudly. An indescribable sense of uneasiness came over him. Dread. He drew nearer to the door and focused on the voices on the other side. They grew closer. Enough for him to make out what the men were saying. Everything's in place. We're ready to kill this witch now. How do they know? This is definitely the place. That half-dead bandit says she's in- What? Says she's in this mansion. He made it back to town? Listen well. No matter what we find in there, we kill it. Could be a child for all I kill. That doesn't change anything. Kill the witch. Kill the witch. Kill the witch. Kill the witch. <gasps> what he heard beyond the door was a group of men shouting for the death of, a, of the witch. In that moment, Michelle regretted his decision to let the bandit go free, not watch over him until the moment of his demise. He must have made his way down to the village in search of help, where he revealed that he had found what he had found at the mansion. Dang it! But it was too late. I regret what's all nothing. He could neither stop the villagers from raiding the house, nor could he stop the white-haired girl from dying to the effects of his curse. He was helpless to do anything. The gears of his fate had locked him onto a path of tragedy, and returning mercilessly, mercilessly onward. The men had begun trying to break down the door with what sounded like a battering ram. While the first strike was not enough to breach the barrier, it was still powerful. He certainly would not hold for long. All good? Michelle's mind raced. Was there anything he could do about this predicament? How could he escape from the corner he had been backed into? Despite his possessing inhuman powers, he'd be powerless against a full mob of adult men. The villagers were almost suddenly, almost suddenly came armed as well. Michelle. A weak voice came from behind him. Aghast, he spun around to find the white-haired girl stumbling towards him. She breathed heavily, the knee its columns for support. What are you doing out here? You'll only worsen your condition by exerting yourself. I had a sinking feeling. I heard noises on my way here. It seems that I have read all my misfortune upon you. Don't say that! If I hadn't come here, this never would have happened. You never would have been in any danger. Please, Michelle, hand me over to the men outside. Absolutely not! I'll do no such thing! They're here with the witch, aren't they? I'm guessing they're the same people who were chasing me before. The village had a poor harvest this year, I hear. Like the village in the legend. And they believe it's the witch's curse. But you're not a witch. They need someone to fill the role, though. So please, hand me over. 
Let me escape on your own. I could never. Please, Michelle. I'm the one who's cursed, not you. You want me to hand you over? What would I have left then? Nothing. Not a thing. I would have nothing. For so long, I finally found someone who isn't afraid of me. Who won't yawn. If no interest in the world, they'll take you away from me. Make me live alone once more. To hell with such a world! Michelle. All good? Nothing creepy? Okay. What do you? Oh, there's the wind again. You're hearing that. Would you be willing to die with me? If. If that's what you wish, then stay with me until the very end. Probably want to hear that just as much as him. No, not probably. I did. I wanted to have someone at my side as much as him. It's so lonely not having anyone. To live alone, to die alone. To not have anyone watching over you. For no one to even know you're dead. I simply wanted someone to tell me that they're here for me. To be there. To hold my hand. How wonderful that would be. A sense of utter relief it would bring. Would be enough to cast away all the pain. To allow me to accept all of our suffering. So please. Tell me you'll... Right, the observation tower. Michelle and the white right haired girl chose to spend their final moments at the top of the observation tower. They could hear the crash of the battering ram against the door, the shouts of the men, and their stomping feet. But despite all that, the ray of light shining through the little window was as beautiful as always. The room's air of serenity remained un unimpeached. After the long climb to the top, the white haired girl was terribly out of breath. Michelle considered several times offering her his hand. But the possibility that doing so might rob her of her last scraps of life stayed in his, in his, stayed his hand. Sounds like they broke down the door. Glad we made it up here when we did. So sorry for asking this of you. Don't be. I'd have chosen here for my final moments as well. This is the one place in this mansion with any sunlight. The one place I can get a good look at you. Thank you. I'm truly glad that I was able to end up here. That I was able to meet you. And more than anything, that you said you cared about me. Have I managed to become an essential part of your life? Do you even need to ask? I want to be here otherwise. I feel the same way as you. I'm sure of it. The two of us are more similar than you probably care to admit. Can I ask you one more thing? Go on. Would you embrace me? This is to be the end, this is to be my last chance, and I don't want to end it without having been able to touch you. Please don't refuse me this, Michelle. Just do it. Please. I... I won't keep you waiting long. Thank you. The truth is, I always wanted this. I dreamed of being able to hold you. I dreamed of it too. Thank you. I'm so... Very. I'm like, <laughs> the way I feel, I'm like, this is sad and all, but is there anything in the backlog? She's still so beautiful. What a cruel joke. Could he not have given us some other miracle? One that would allow us both to survive? Where are you? Where do you get off to? Can't find her, dang it! And there's some stairs over here! They lit up! <gasps> Beneath the single ray of light, the white-haired girl lay completely still, and even a frail sigh escaped her closed lips. She remained as gorgeous as ever, and so she had simply fallen asleep in the sunlight. Looking down upon her, Michelle determined to do one thing. i not allow anyone to slowly the sight. He gave a fleeting glance back at her pristine corpse, and opened the door and stepped through it alone. He would protect that room where she lay. And there's someone up here! So this is where you've been hiding, you infernal witch. Wait, that's not the girl? The rackus? Rackus? Sound of their footsteps rang up from below. Shortly thereafter, the men themselves came into view. As he had expected, they were heavily armed. He, 
Is it lowered? Lowered? At the men. And suck in a deep breath and shouted at the top of his lungs. I am the witch you seek. I have inherited her curse, and it is I who brings calamity upon you. You hear that? But he's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Death to anyone who has ties to the witch. Cleanse this earth of all impurity. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Shell did not flinch at the sight of the men. He strode on yelling between them and the door. He did not flinch even when they raised their weapons against him. Nor when they pierced his body. Dying and take your curse with you. Yeah. I have no need for this life any longer. It's all yours. I am I am cursed. To kill even that which I wish to protect. But at the very least, I can protect one thing before my life is done. Not even one of you will leave this place. Wither and die by my curse. The blood spilling from his skewered body flowed down the stairs, down and down like a little river. Soaking the feet of every last man who stormed the mansion. This was the last thing he saw before the final grains of life slipped between his fingers, which brought a faint smile to his lips. Was not the end? Oh. Eh. Ah. Neither of them had expected what happened next, though, but God has the most twisted sense of humor. The white-haired girl was not miraculously passed away, had not miraculously passed away without being robbed of her beauty. Why am I still alive? Should he rather not passed away at all? Quite cruel of him, was it not? Michelle? Where have you gone, Michelle? Michelle. I... I smell blood. For he had allowed her to die, she would not have been made to witness the scene that awaited her. No. No. And I'm sure you know just what it is that she it was she laid eyes upon in that moment. The ravaged corpse of her beloved, a torrent of blood streaming down, down, down the spiral staircase. The sickening stench it raised. No. Why? And this was not the only body. The villagers who had assaulted the mansion had been subjected to his curse. The life drained from their wither shells. Why did this... Shell, why? Why am I the only one still alive? This is the question I cannot answer either. Perhaps this curse did not affect those he loved, as terribly cruel as that might be. I cannot say. Why? He said we would go together. The world without you has no meaning. Had she actually expanded her life there in the room at the top of the tower, perhaps this tale, tale could have had a happy ending. She would have at least, at least been able to have the man she loved at her side until the very last moments upon this earth. But that's not what had transpired. She had survived, but left utterly alone. I felt a profound pity for the miserable girl, so I called out to her. I CALLED IT! Would you like to see him once more? What? It's the maid, right? The maid. Well, she'll have a sprite. I have the power to help you meet him again. Who's there? Where are you? You know what they call this mansion. So who do you suppose remains on these grounds? No way. You're from the legend. You, you actually exist. Now I have asked you a simple question. Would you like to see him again? The witch grants people's wishes, but at a price. I said I wanted to ask for her assistance if I met her. Well, it's all changed. Now that I've lost him, it's truly possible. Then yes, I want to see him. Bring him back to life. Regrettably, I cannot directly meddle with the forces of life and death. However, I can guarantee you this. Your reconstruction. Reconstruction? Correct. To ensure that you remain as yourself in future lives, or not reborn as someone else, your body and mind shall be reconstructed. As shall his. If you sincerely wish to reunite with one another, if you genuinely need each other in your lives, you will eventually meet again. 
All I can promise you is eternal reconstruction. What you make of this is up to you. Is this all? all right. You want to see him again, don't you? You want to hear his voice again, don't you? You want to feel his hand on your cheek once more, don't you? That's what you want, then you must remain who you are. If you're simply reborn, that wouldn't be you. So there wouldn't be any other, any point, would there? Me? And saying I am. And he as he is. I mean, she never said that. Did she? She never said he'd be. Anyway, make up your mind quickly. I'll not wait long. I... I... I want to see him again. <laughs> As you wish, sweet little girl. I shall grant you both eternal reconstruction and pray with all my heart that you can attain true happiness. Shortly thereafter, the white-haired girl took her own life. She decided she had nothing to gain by remaining in the present time, and in order to reunite with Michelle, she needed to make her way to the, her next life. And thus, the mansion was left bereft of a master. She traveled slowly through the ages until someone came along to give it life once more. Misty Manning. How much of that am I supposed to believe? <laughs> Anything? Nope. What an unfathomable amount of time has passed. Two have yet to re reunite. Have they, Master? <laughs> you know now who you are, do you not? You remember everything now, do you not? You are present in every single area. The reason for which I... is as I described in the previous tale. Because you yearn to be re reunited with someone. But that person never showed up. The poor sweet you, having no memory of any of that, lived those lives with other men. Is it any surprise misfortune befell those errors then? The door swung close. Rather than outside, you and the maid are inside the dull, monochrome room at the top of the observation tower. The awe-inspiring ray of light shone not through the lone window high upon the stone wall. Wrapped in a curious, impenetrable darkness, you both stood alone in the room. Funny that you was used like that. So, normally, you both stood alone in the room would be fine. But when you is capitalized, it's referring to us as the play. Well, not necessarily the player, but the protagonist. But you both stood alone in the room implies that maybe we're the same person? Maybe? The maid wore a although that could just be a translation thing. <laughs> the maid wore a gentle, but... Brit brittlely, brittlely cold smile as she looks straight at you. It's not your, it is not your fault, misfortune befell you. The only force to blame for that is fate. You are always so kind, so pure of heart. You always put all your no no no. no. Like gonna make, I was gonna say you always put all your money into the gacha. You see because fate, grand or get it. You had boundless trust for others and the goodness of people. Just cut that joke before it goes on any longer. You are the very image of all that is right. There is no greater misfortune than someone as pure and beautiful as you, being mercilessly thrown into the grinding years of tragedy again and again. I shall pity you for everything you had to go through, you poor, poor soul. You must be utterly exhausted, constantly betrayed, the man you are waiting for never appearing. After so long, your spirit worn down to the bone, you lost any and all awareness of who you even were. Who were you hoping to find wandering into this illusory Illusory, illusory? Mansion, cut off from the real world. You and I are the only ones here. The man you seek is nowhere to be found. Have you still not figured it out? Then allow me to tell you everything. I am the cursed witch Morgana, who haunts this mansion. And you are the tragic plaything of fate, the white-haired girl named Giselle. Did my calling you master confuse you? But... We know in at least the third door, her name is not Giselle, right? Right? Wait, hold on. Let me look up. I still haven't looked up how to pronounce it. Giselle. No, it's a romantic ballad. No, no, no. It's a romantic ballet. Given name. French origin. It's a female given name. It's not also a male name. Did my calling you master confuse you? If so, then I apologize. 
My habit of calling the master, or mistress, of the house master is quite deeply ingrained. And yes, that means precisely what you think it does. That I have accepted you as my new master. And I wish for you to remain here. To stay with me. So let us put an end to this journey. Do not worry, there's nothing to fear. There's something going to step outside the river of time. Nothing unpleasant will ever happen to you again. I'll be here with you for all eternity. I'll give you my utmost care. You'll not have to wait for anyone. Forget about him. The man you once sought. And I'm sure you shall find happiness. Please, do it for me. I've been waiting for you, you so, for so, so very long. I've wanted nothing more than to see you again. But you are continually, sto continually stolen away from me. Despite my sincerest desires to spend my days with you. Which is why I wanted you to recall everything. For surely you would not willingly repeat the same fate. If you know all, of all the pain in this caused, caused you to suffer this far. Spend eternity with me. In the gentle embrace of the darkness. Hey, you know, I'll just uh, go to the next door. Thanks. The maid extended her hand for you. Her fingers, brushing up against your, yours, were as cold as ever. But her breath tickled your skin pleasantly. And her sweet words rang in your ears, filled you with warmth. You thought back on your time with her in the mansion. She had indeed always treated you with great compassion. Nothing had she had said seemed to be... What do you mean nothing she had said seemed to be a lie? So you pondered. What were you to do? Uh, save it. Ghost story. There's still more to be done. I think that's the right one. Casting off the fog. Something seemed off. Not only with the story she had just told, with her, and with you yourself. Assuming everything she had said was the truth. New song? What you're not, my mind is made up. What shall strike you first, I wonder? Regret or the curse? You seem to be doing just fine. It's only a tale. The witch is real, very much so. It's not a legend or a fairy tale. The witch is me. That's right. It wasn't the white-haired girl who had claimed to be the witch. That wasn't all. What do you mean to you reclaim your old self no matter the cost? If you do, you're sincerely prepared to do that, then be wary of the tale that comes next. Any tragedy that seems too beautiful to be real is precisely that. A fabrication. Thank you, man in the painting. Save me. None of your questions have been answered. You still didn't know who the painting was, or what had taken place so long ago that caused the mansion to summon people to it. You didn't even know who you were, for that matter. There's still more to be done. You had to find the truth. You needed to find someone. That much was certain. But the, was the story the maid had told you correct about whom? And if it was... What about her? What about the woman whose name you couldn't say? The woman who had so cheerfully called you master. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about her already. In the master bedroom. We agreed that we had lived together, not just in the same house, so we got plenty more time to add to the list. And I hope you can make your own list about me too. This is just the beginning after all. We got a long, long time ahead of us. Plenty enough to get to know each other, no? You must say your name. You must take your hand. Oh, oops. You must make your smile once more, once again. You must reclaim your old self. It's dark. Oh, we're in a, is it adventure or novel mode now? Dark. It's dark. It's dark again. It's dark. 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 Constantly. Constantly engulfed in darkness. <laughs> You threw it away every single time. I must break out of this darkness. I'll give you a world that's not cruel to you. I must escape and take your hand. Is that <laughs> the reason? Oh, I've got you a wonderful idea. I came here. You can curse them with me. I must return. I must reclaim. We can think of new ways to torture them. We'll all be happier if you stay here. Just think about it. Stay here in this world. You'll be right at home. No! I did the best I could for you. Nothing more. This is not where I belong. No matter how much of a world of darkness may suit me, 
You'll never be able to do it. I must reclaim, reclaim my true self. Reclaim yourself. <laughs> okay. Can we stop these sound effects? <laughs> this is brilliant. Do you have any idea how terrible a decision that is? Do you have any idea why I fabricated that story? It was all for... Wait, did we have a choice to, like, not reclaim ourselves? Or... I mean... Why don't we just stay there at that screen? I, I don't know. It was all for you, so stay here. Stay right where you are. The darkness suits you better. And, you know... Remember what someone told you not long ago? That you couldn't handle the stories because they weren't your own. That you were able to bear the tragedies because they happened to others. If that had been your suffering, if the secrets you had been if the secrets you had kept buried away for so long had come out, you couldn't possibly have endured it. Reclaim yourself. But you're a sharp one. I'm sure you intend to keep those secrets tucked away forever. Do you really think I'm going to let you do that though? Whatever you try to hide, I'll make sure your beloved hears every last detail. Claim yourself. <laughs> How foolish can you be? Despite all my encouragement, you still insist on getting your old self back? What do you have to gain from that? Nothing but filthy, ugly tragedy awaits you down this path. Now let's reclaim myself. Don't you get your hopes up, my dear. There's nothing for you there. You have nothing. I'm offering you a place by my side. You should just take it. There's no salvation for you anywhere. None at all. Anywhere. From anyone. Ever. Yeah, can, can we stop the sound effects though? <laughs> Just long to skip lost all grip on reality. Do you think there's anything you can do for her now? Despite having repeatedly failed to even regain yourself? So I was right. We're playing as Michelle, not as G Giselle. I think. Reclaim yourself. Haha, <laughs> well, I suppose if you're gonna be stubborn, as much as I don't want to, I have to place a curse. On your soul. That's right. The white haired girl was never at the mansion. What? It was always the maid the whole time? I, mean, I pretty much called it. I mean, I kind of did, but I kind of didn't. There is still a story left untold. What? The fourth door was all a lie. What do you mean? It's not some sweet little tragedy. The story you told was pure fantasy. But no, that was the truth. That was where it all began. Because of what happened there, then you spent innumerable years lost until you showed up here and... What? You reached out. Grasping for it. You pull yourself in. Your silhouette, which has become hazy until now, begins to take form. Your mind, your consciousness, your heart, your soul, and your body. Who? Who are you? The veil in your mind dissip dissipates. A crack forms in the shell encasing you. Then another. The invisible shackles chaining your spirit fall to the floor. Reality fades in atop the indistinct, foggy world around you. Bony fingers appear before your eyes. Long hair. Your voice. No. My voice, my body, my fingers. My arms are frail and my joints weak. But despite my resemblance to the white hair girl, I am not hair. This is who I am. I finally reclaimed myself. You weren't waiting for the white haired girl. You, you were waiting for me! That's exactly why I came here. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've always waited for the white haired. There's never a white haired girl. There's only. This time. This time I must say your name. She is... Giselle. There is only you. I am... Giselle? No. No, I'm not Giselle. I'm a servant of the house. I'm the witch. The cause. You're not a witch. The witch is someone else. Why do you insist that you're the witch? What changed you so much? Okay, I see. So when she was reincarnated, she got reincarnated as the maid who was in all the eras. And... 
The shadowy figure in the master bedroom. That was her. So, who's the white-haired girl in doors one through three? Is So, I assume you, that's us, is Michelle. Does that mean Michelle was the white-haired girl and Giselle was the uh, the maid in all the eras? Maybe? The shadowy figure in the master bedroom, that was her. A glimpse into her past. I'm sure this is Giselle, but why is she so different? What happened to the spark she used to have? Where did the light she once shone upon the world go? I have to remember. I must remember. This cannot end until I have. This is no longer a story. And what I need to face is my past. And her heart. This is, I swear this is Withered H. Right. <laughs> she's not even present in the story she made up. Everything about it has changed. It had been changed. The past I lived in the wooden she bore were more granted in harsh reality. Not wrapped in a film of fairy tale magic. That was the final tale, and it was all true. That's how it happened. It was a bittersweet story. No, I could not see this. This was a beautiful tragedy. But, there's a, but was there even a scrap of humanity in it? Beyond the three preceding doors, there had been a constant threat of ugliness and conflicting motivations. But there's hardly a trace of that behind the fourth door. The characters felt like nothing more than characters. Is that what you want to turn into? Is that what you want our history to become? Our history? I. But that. But I. I don't. I don't remember anything at all. You don't remember anything. No, I don't want to. I don't need a past or a future. All I have left inside me is uncertainty. Giselle? Uh, no. No! That's not. That's not my name. Please stop trying to confuse me. I'm fine with things the way they are. If it means I don't have to hurt, that's all I want. So please, just let me keep being the maid. Let me keep being a guide, not some foolish girl. Is that... Is that what she honestly desires? Does she want to cast aside her past for good? If so, then... Not remembering isn't an option. Well... I think this is the right choice here. Right? No matter what she says, I know I'm right. If she doesn't reclaim her old self, I'll never get to hear her say my name again. I know I'm being selfish here, but I can't do that. Like, usually with visual novels, picking that kind of option is the bad thing, but I'm thinking that's the right choice here. If you're afraid of what you might find, we can remember together. I haven't gotten everything back yet myself, so let's open the real door. Together. There are no other doors to open. But there is. One that can only open by our hands, because it exists between the two of us. Not a door with physical form, but the door to your heart. The door to... A grasp her unnaturally cold hand, and that long ago once had warmth. If she can't lead the way, then I have to. I must pick up the pieces of our erased history so we can both reclaim ourselves. Find the actual truth. No matter what we may uncover, I'll not let go of this hand. Well, I mustn't let go of it. Darkness falls over the world around us. The floor upon which we had been standing flickers out of existence, sending us dropping into an endless abyss. The strike pit, this is to her door. I want to make sure there's nothing. Okay, we're good. The strike pit, this is her door. Her history. Her height. Let's try this one more time. It's not a sweet story by any means. It's a story of betrayal, anger, and hatred. We cost each other pain. But that's... The road we traveled. And down that road lies all the answers. Reclaim yourself. The fourth door. Oh. Oh. The fifth door. 1099. Or is it 1099? I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> that was awesome! I assume we didn't get a bad end. Well, we're not on track to get a bad ending. I think that's a safe assumption. Uh, interesting thing, though. It, I, I'm going to call it here. Ooh. I really have time to do one more today. 
But, like, that's a natural stopping point, like, to state my curiosity. <laughs> so, I think I'll leave it at that for today. That was good. That was awesome. But why did Giselle stay, stay at the mansion then? We, we assumed it was because she's under persecution of being a witch due to her appearance. But she has a normal appearance. She's not, she, does, she doesn't have white hair. She doesn't have red eyes. Right? She has like blue eyes? Green? Just a normal color of eyes. So, do you think she actually did do something that caused people to chase after her? We'll find out. Next time with the house in Fauna Morgana. Well, that was awesome. I'm going to have to do one more today. I can't, I can't keep it in. I'll be right back, guys. See you guys then. Bye.